hello guys Sajid is here with a new video and uh, this video is specific to react.js so if you are a react.js developer then you should know how we create a react.js project okay probably uh, you will use create react app CLI okay I also use this so these are the command through which you can create re, uh, react project and run it okay so i created one project through this cli create react app which is from facebook this is the project okay which i just created now and uh, i open a terminal and i run this project okay you can run this command or if you are using vs code then just just click on this button you know the play button the start button and the front of uh, which is against the start okay so this is my app js component okay here i declare a variable let's say author and uh, the author is let's say in this variable and this constant we have the value is Sajid Javed so I declared a constant you know I assigned the value but I'm not using this this variable anywhere so in the console you can see other is assigned a value but never used okay so just imagine now you are working on a very big project not you someone else has wrote the code and there are uh, you know thousands of files there are thousands of functions and uh, in every file or in most of the file you see warnings like this variables are declared variables are assigned but never used and let's imagine you have no time to clear the code you have only time to add some new features okay so how you will clear the console you know the console is very ugly you see now we have one warning but in the in your case in the brick project you will have hundreds of hundreds of warnings and errors so how you will manage this and you know uh, these warnings are coming from ESLint okay so and this is only one, one warning like uh, the variable is undefined you will have many other warnings also okay different warnings from eastland this is the one which i will use in this video to keep this video shorter and easier okay so how we can disable this okay so it's very easy the first thing is to disable eastland for this specific file okay i want to disable eastland for this specific file so how you can do this okay the eastland uh, this is the website of, of eastland okay so if you want to disable the eastland you can do something like this but this is only for this file you 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 can see the con the console we have no longer warning okay so this is one fix for this whole file for this whole component app.js this is one scenario if you want to disable the uh, the eastland for the for the whole project now the another solution is the another scenario is what if you want to disable the eastland 
for a specific block of code okay let's say i want to disable eastland for uh, for this block okay for these three lines i want to disable eastland and then i want to enable it again so i will do like this okay let's say okay here the eastland is disabled for these three lines and then again i disabled okay uh, okay so when i am writing this project let's say uh, i am writing this in 2021 okay so here you can see compiled with one warning here here is assigned a value but never used so you can see here the the east length okay so because here i disabled you can see but here for below code i enabled so that's why it says the the year is assigned a value but never used okay now i only create declare variable so what it says okay i make it variable here is defined but never used okay so you can see the the error is a bit different okay so you saw how we can disable eastland for the whole project how we can disable eastland for a block of code and now the third thing is how we can disable eastland for a specific line of code okay let's say a specific line of code is generating a warning so how we can disable it okay we can do something like this very simple very easy very good so you can see here what i am telling here disable eastland for the next line so i disabled eastland only for this line because this line is generating the warning so i only disabled for this specific line okay so the command is eastland disable next line next line another approach is to do something like this uh, okay so i want uh, eastland to disable for this specific line okay so we this is the second command disable eastland for this line okay good so far we covered three scenarios okay uh, now what's next even uh, if you want to disable eastland okay for let's say eastland will give us let's different warning you can see here sorry i make it lit okay so you can see here one variable is is assign one variable has a value and the another one has no value it's only declared you can see here the warnings are different okay so how we can disable uh, only let's say in in our in our file we have different kind of warnings which are generated because of different reason but we want to disable some specific let's say we have five warnings we can fix four but we are unable to fix the only one warning so we can disable that how we will do that okay 
I want to disable this warning. You see, I explicitly told Eastland to disable for unused variables. If there is a variable which is de which is declared and initialized or only declared, please don't throw warning for unused variables. Very clear. Okay. Okay. What else? Okay, I use something like uh, like this. Okay, uh, I use something like this. Okay, only class. Uh, I remove the AS length. Okay, and uh, let's say I use single line, single quotes. Okay, good. It's Okay, I generate some other warning. So I pause the video. Okay, very good. Now I do something. Okay. Let's say. Here. I just, you know, console.log this code is written written by uh, then i call it author okay uh, i do the same with the okay now let's say you want to disable the console if i show you you will see this thing in the console this code is written by Sajid Javed I want to disable the console okay so you can also do this like like here okay we are not using the alert function of JavaScript so I remove this and you know this is how you can disable multiple rules okay our function is throwing this warning and I also disabled no console no console is is not a warning but I'm actually disabling console in my code you know console in this file okay very good so this is how you can use multiple roles uh, rules okay very good I think uh, no alert if you want to uh, you know I disabled a console you can also disable alert quotes you know this way okay so everything is clear so far but in this video we only discussed one file in the next video I will discuss the whole project how to manage the eastland rules of the whole project so stay tuned and uh, you will see some some you will you will know some some important information in the next video so thank you bye